of me. I, I, you ever read your Wikipedia entry? Most of you don't have one. And if you do, it's like six sentences long. This is very long, my God, with 115 references. So be on the lookout for some, somebody entering some, some slime about me. That's all. And if you've been getting my Twitter stuff lately, I've greatly increased the Twittering I've been doing. I've been Twittering a lot lately. I've discovered that Twittering is important, so I Twitter almost every night. I have a couple of people who Twitter for me. I send pictures of a sunrise. Oh, my God, do I have to talk about the attack now? What about the McCarthy story? That's a far bigger story, incidentally, that they DHS smeared him. What did I tell you about your government? That if it's true that the IP address that the smear came from was a Homeland Security IP address from the Department of Homeland Security, what does that tell you about the country you're living in? Do you like it better? Is that the country you thought you're living under? The great fair-minded Barack Obama. Barack Obama. I'm Barack Obama. I am God Almighty. I have pruned all branches of government. <clears throat> they can't even bud anymore. I am Barack Obama. WABC Stu, what do you think about the country we're living in under Barack Obama? Hello? Yes, Stu, what do you think about the country learning that DHS smeared McCarthy today? Well, I think, first of all, that the people have been stripped of their power. If government agencies control the dissemination of information, um, the legislative branch doesn't have that power. There's no balance of power, and the people have been stripped of their power to balance out the executive branch. So this is not only terrifying, but it just... Well, I, I, here's something that's sort of a quip, but it, it's true. It's, it'll be a shot heard around the world. Michael Savage, what do you think about DHS smearing McCarthy having an affair in order to, to neutralize him? Well, I would say it's a new twist on McCarthyism. Do you, do you get the joke, Stu? Yeah. I know it's not a laughing matter, but I can't help it. My mind is comedic. I appreciate that, but this is this is not even uh, this is this is terrifying. Uh, if you think about it, what's really going on with the executive branch? I mean, well, you actually think that Obama was not doing things like this behind the scenes? You think that this criminal gang was not doing this all along, neutralizing Congress, neutralizing the Supreme Court. How do you think they got Roberts to do Obamacare? What do you think, they weren't threatening him with something? Absolutely. Um, this is just... Um, it's how, how do they get the drunk to, 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 to sit with his mouth shut for all these years? They don't have anything on him? Yep. I mean, this is just it's a little bit exciting because you're going to start seeing this... Uh, what they've been doing behind the scenes, getting stripped away and realizing how the people do not have power in this country anymore. And how come we never heard about any affairs from higher ups in the Democrat Party? You know that that goes on, or or other shenanigans. How come we never hear about that? I guess DHS uh, only looks into people who oppose the uh, the goon squad. Yep. Selective enforcement, that's the theme of Well, the okay, well, uh, people wanted to, ever, anyone ever wanted to live in Paraguay, or Uruguay, after the Third Reich fled there, well, welcome. You're now living in Paraguay without the bananas. That's that's pretty. All right, I'm, se I'm sending you. I'm sending you government zero. I'm almost giddy from it. I don't know why it actually seems interesting to me that the government is that overtly corrupt now that we know that they would do a thing like this. This is a, this is almost a new level of corruption. I never liked McCarthy. The little I saw of him, I wasn't like. I'm almost glad he's on. Not because they smeared him. I'm trying to say something else. Don't get me wrong. I'm not gloating that they got him out on that basis at all. Uh, I'm saying I don't think he would have been very good because he was very liberal, by the way. Kevin McCarthy, California, he was a liberal middle of the roader. He was like Boehner. I mean, what's the difference? He was like uh, Virginia's Eric Cantor. I don't see he was very different. He was not a conservative challenger. Do you think he was a conservative challenger? No one even knows who he is. Chaffetz, I would like to see him in there. He's a real conservative. Steve Scalise, Louisiana, good. Patrick McHenry, not to be confused with Patrick Henry, good. No one even knows who these people are, and I'm not trying to denigrate them. Uh, Tom Cole, Republican, Audi next on his Wikipedia page. Let's, let's look at that one. We better check all the Wikipedia pages of every Republican now.
We'll see what, the IP address of that one. Probably the, uh, wait a minute, hold it now, wait a minute. Hillary Clinton's missing emails came from an IP address in her house in uh, in uh, Chappaqua, right? Mm, now they're smearing people from an IP address at DHS. Uh -huh. So the missing emails have nothing to do with the fake smear jobs. No, there's nothing there. KSFO, Bobby, what are you calling about? Go ahead, you're on the Savage Nation. Millions of people are hanging on your every word. Dr. Savage, pleasure. Sir, uh, about the airmen being attacked, that sounds like Cambodians or uh, um, gang members. That's during and Why? The, the white shirts indicate Cambodians? The, the white shirts are a symbol of gang members, period. And the caveat to that is that they're assimilating with black or African-American gang members. That's how they're identifying themselves. But wait a minute. The, the, the police will only say that it was Asian, Asian perpetrators. That's all they'll say. You're now saying Cambodians. What would lead you to believe that? Either Cambodian or uh, uh, Hmongs. Because when they come over here, <clears throat> the ones, the youngsters that can't, be law-abiding citizens, they're, they're, uh, they're starting gangs. Because their feeling is that they're getting picked on. I used to be a teacher, and we had to take gang gang courses. And being mm. in the Central Valley... It's funny, I just bought a bunch of uh, colored undershirts. My, I didn't even know why, intuitively. I stopped wearing white undershirts myself a while ago. I mean, not that an older guy... White guy would be confused with being a member of an uh, Asian gang, but I only wear colored undershirts now. I'm liable to pick the wrong color and get knocked off in the street, though. i got to be careful. Do any gangs wear purple uh, undershirts? Because I like purple. I like yellow. Uh, I like pink. Do any gangs wear that? No, I don't think so, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> All right, attention, Savage Nation. Go out and buy pink T-shirts. <laughs> then you could be like John Boehner. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful world it is. Stay in the line. I'm sending you a copy of Government Zero. Man, I need my Savage Army to go out to the bookstores on October 27th. I need you to clean the shelves out like locusts. But with so many weeks away from it, not going to do it. And uh, today is only the uh, the Thursday. How did the week go so fast? Every Monday I get on the air and I say, wow, it's going to be a tough week. The news, I think I'll take a day off. And the next thing I know, it's Thursday. Then it's Thursday, so I can't take the day off. It's almost Friday. Then I say, why take Friday off? It's, uh, it's so ridiculous. There's too much news. And another five days down the hopper. Then Saturday and Sunday come, and I calm down. I work with the cars. The old Jags are a hobby of mine, and you know there's plenty of work to do on those. Right now I have the uh, XK150 apart in the garage, and my mechanic Gary is going to he has the carburetors. It's a nightmare. The car ran fine. I don't know what I started in with rebuild the carbs now, but the car doesn't run at all because it's apart. Door is apart. The carbs are apart. There's nothing more frightening than a beautiful Jaguar in a garage with pieces of the engine on the floor. But uh, that's Saturday. We got a new starter. We got the last parts of the carb. We got the door we're going to put back because it got caught in the uh, furring strip. You know what? It, it absorbs my mind to work on cars. Like, I, I mean, I don't do the work, but, you know, I lean over. I learn a little bit in that. It's, it's a fun thing. I, I admire mechanics. I like to watch car shows at night. You want something weird? I swear to God, I can do, do this without giving anything away. I found out that my granddaughter, who doesn't live near me, she lives out of state, she likes car shows. She watches car shows with her dad. She's two years old. How'd that happen? Because, you know, why wouldn't you like car shows if you're a child? And even a little child. You see men fixing things. And then you hear noise, Robert. That's a that's your cue. Then you hear noises like, mm, 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 the air gun. That air gun, I can't get it out of my head. I, I go to sleep now thinking of the air That's the sound I go to sleep to. Whenever I see Hillary Clinton to hear us speak, Robert, that's what I think of. This is a this is a method of getting Hillary Clinton's voice out of your head. Robert, play it so they put it in your head. Like, right. This is this, this sound is preferable to that of Hillary Clinton's shriek. Okay, back in a minute. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth with gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-Y-C-O-I-N. 
mean, the big story is the Republican issue here, that McCarthy, who was next in line to lead the Republican Party, was smeared by a DHS employee. They traced the IP address. Someone in DHS uh, went on to his Wikipedia page and said he was having an affair with a another Republican, not male, another Republican, in this case a woman grown, thank God. I mean, I'm saying, you know, thank God for small favors. If you had any, you know, something with a child, forget about it altogether. But I would say in this day and age, for a Republican male over 50 to be having an affair with a woman is almost a plus. I'm not saying that, that that's what I'm suggesting should be. But, I mean, you know, considering the options here, all in all. But anyway, he's out. He dropped out. And there he is, the drunk is uh, hinting at sticking around now. Boehner. Clink just got a new lease on life. They bought him a new beach chair. Another case of Johnny Walker was shipped to the uh, condo in uh, Jacksonville, and he's ready to go again. Yeah, and they got the horse to run around the track a little bit more for Obama. He's got a little bit more to do for him yet. And that's a big story. That's a big story. We still have no updates on the uh, France train hero attack, stabbing in Sacramento. Well, we know the police are searching. The, the Dick Traces are looking for two Asian men. Now, of course, you can help. You can help them find those two Asian men just by saying, I saw an Asian man, you can call the police. See how racist that is to say Asian men? I want to hang the liberals by their own petard. They won't say Muslim. They won't say what the Asian person is. A Middle Easterner they use now Asian. We don't know what they were. Maybe they were Asian. Asian, Asian, like you know Asians. See, they say Middle East, Asian and Middle Eastern, the same thing in England, to not offend Muslims. So, uh, I would say the police should be helped. I think you should report any Asian men you see in a Toyota, because they could be the perpetrators, since they haven't been specific. I think you should flood the uh, Sacramento Police Department by saying, hello, I just saw two Asian men in a gray Toyota. Say, well, what are you calling me about? Well, you said there's two Asian men in Toyota who did it. Can't you be more specific? No, there are. See, that you trap them, you hang them by their, by their own petard. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE-SAVAGE. The hope that he's conservative, but you know, they're all the same. You think motorcycle, you know. No wonder we get the worst of the, the lowest. It must be the best and the brightest. On the, in, in JFK's time, it was the best and the brightest. Stay in his cabinet. Now we got the worst and the stupidest. Stay with your man. Grifters. You ever see what they get arrested for? The kind of low rate. I never saw anything like it. The guy like at the UN, the $500,000. He built a basketball court in his house. He bought a suit. He went to a hotel in New Orleans with his family. Bought a television set. I have never seen such low level grifters. And these guys like a dinner. They get a free dinner in New Orleans. And they sell a country out. Well, okay. Oh, God. Dinner with Hillary. Can you imagine that one? Who would pay for a dinner, uh, to be at a dinner with Hillary Clinton? Who would want to be at that dinner? You'd have to play the, 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 the sound of the, uh, of the uh, ratchet gun. Whenever I hear her voice, that's all I can think about is the sound of the air gun. I didn't say the air gun. I said the air gun. That's a, that's a cue, Robert. When I say Hillary and air gun, you're supposed to hit it. That's too late now. It's not funny. That's a little late. That's like 20 seconds late. Radio's about timing. Now there's an ad that says, have a dinner with Hillary. We are flying one lucky supporter to have dinner with Hillary. All right, you did it already too many times. Now it's too many times. We are flying one lucky supporter to have dinner with Hillary. Can you imagine? Who would want to be flown to a dinner with Hillary? Maybe Monica Lewinsky could win that, uh, that contest. <laughs> God. <laughs> you know, she's a laugh line. Why is she even running? Just running, she debases America. She brings up the worst stage of time in American history before Obama became the little dictator here. Okay, all right. Henry on the Internet, go ahead, make your case. Step right up, you're on the Savage Nation. Hello, Dr. Savage. Before I begin, I'm 17 years old, but I've been hearing you for the past four years. I must confess that although, um, in the fiscal sense, I am a bit liberal, I'm totally with you on the condemnation that you produce against the president. But I would like to say my point is that the president isn't as liberal as we like him to be. If you look at his foreign policy... Wait, wait, hold, you mean, wait, as you would like him to be or who would like him to be? As we would, as we would reckon him to be. Because if you... Oh, at, you gave... Come on, Henry, you gave yourself away. You're a youngster. You, you accidentally slipped. Henry. Henry, are you there? Henry. Henry. Henry, go back to the DHS... They're going to have to retrain you now. 
He slipped up. That's it. He'll never work for the government again. 